It's hot. I have no air conditioning. Let's do a video. Hey friends and welcome back to my corner of the universe where I talk to you about whatever it is I'm doing in the world today. Um, so a lot's been going on. Haven't posted in a while. Sorry about that. Um, I've literally just been decluttering, decluttering, deep cleaning, all that stuff. Got a second job, a lot going on, but I'm still here to make videos for you. Um, my birthday passed this month. It's the month of July. Um, it was on July 6th, so it kind of like, it's been a minute, but I thought I'd do like a what I got for my birthday kind of video for you guys. And you know, if you don't like it, uh, don't, don't watch it, I guess. Yeah, basically. Um, not bragging. I'm just very grateful that I have people in my life that love me enough to think about me and want to get me something for my birthday. So let's get into it because I'm super excited. Um, but before we like really really start I gotta show you guys something I found at the thrift store oh my god so excited it's Marie and it's like licensed so that's awesome I got her for 50 cents you guys she had like some stuff on her face and wasn't looking cute but I brought her home and washed her and I figured I could get stains out if there were any stains but so cute, so soft, so great. All right, to the birthday haul. All right, um, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is from one of my friends. It's kind of weird, but I love it. I lo it's just, I love it. So it's this guy. It's a raccoon and he's, bas he's a wine bottle holder, so not filled. Wait. Boom. So excited. I am, uh, I'm gonna name him Miko, like from Pocahontas, cause I'm gonna put him on my front porch. I'm gonna seal it, I think. Put it on my front porch. It's gonna be great. All right, um, okay, so what's next? Um, I guess I'll start with this. My brother bought this for me. Um, it's Shine Cries. I don't know anything about Shine Cries. I just know it's the box that I got. But it's basically just a case of crystals. Like, I love crystals. Um, I like to make things with crystals in them. Um, and there's just all different ones. Red Adventuring, Snowflake Obsidian, Watermelon Crystal. I didn't even know that existed. Um, but I like to make like spell jar bottles and stuff like that and I'm super stoked about it. Um, then I got this from my friend Jennifer. You guys have seen her in my videos. Um, it's called the Karma Box and it's a large crystal chips. Uh, for witchcraft, uh, crystal gemstone set. Um, that's what it says on the box. Um, and it comes with this little card, uh, and this little black bag, and then like a little crystal grid, and then like uh, all the crystals. It's got like a little booklet with all the crystals in it of in the set, and. Um, like how to cleanse your crystals, pendulums, how to use the pendulum, because there's a pendulum that comes in here, and then like what all you can use the crystals for. So I think that's pretty cool, pretty fascinating. Um, if you're interested in the craft or new to the craft, maybe that's something you can look forward to. I think it's on Amazon. I think it was like 40 bucks when I looked it up on Amazon. Pretty sure that's not what she paid for it, because your girl be loving discounts, but you know. Uh, it's all good, but it's got like little, little crystal chunks 
in it and some empty bottles which I thought was pretty cool because I love tiny little bottles for tiny little things and oh I just totally kind of spilled that um apparently the bottom's not attached it's uh it's got like two or three layers of uh oh that one that top came off ah Turquoise goes back on. Black obsidian goes in. Anyway, there's like uh, three layers to this box. I'm not going to go through it all because that would be a really long video. If you guys do want to see um, a video on the Karma box or the Shine Cries uh, gems, like an unboxing or something, just to see all of them and me go through all of them, comment in the link below or comment in the um, comment section and I will definitely do that for you guys. No problem with that. All right, moving on. Um, this thing. So one of my friends got me a backpack and filled it with stuff, and I love that. Uh, so I got the Chromi backpack. It's got this little charm on it. It's so freaking cute. Chromi is my favorite um, Senrio character. So love me some Chromi. And I love the little bag. It's got her little ears on it and everything. All right, so first one is a little plushie. She's got her little mascot, and she's in her, like, little Lolita outfit. And it's super cute with a little bow, her little skull on her hat. And it's like a little pleather kind of piece. Um, but, yeah, it's so cute, so fluffy, so soft. Love her. I am thinking I'm gonna do when I get my car fixed I'm gonna do it in a chromey theme and I think I might do a video on like chromifying my whip um then the second thing is this mug so cute this is the back I get to drink out of her head and it's so weird and I'm super excited about it um and then the last thing is this chromey brush set trying to not get the glare on it chromey brush set it's got brushes in it the i took the brushes out and they felt so freaking soft i love that um and i'm so this is all still packed up because i like i said i'm redoing my room um it's kind of a hot mess right now which is like why i'm filming here and not like on the kind of nice background I started to set up because it's not completely finished yet. <laughs> I'm an adult. I have things to do and lives to live. Uh, I say that and I just, I honestly just got back from a little mini vacation. So there's that too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pop this back up. Wait. The dog has been eyeing my car me. <laughs> and uh, I've been keeping it in my closet because I'm a little scared. But yeah, it's like a little backpack. It's so cute. Um, I think the cup, no, the bag and the makeup set was Hot Topic, he said. And the cup, I don't remember where he said he got the cup. It might have been like a, we have like a pop cult store, like an anime store in our mall. So I think that's what he did with it. Um, I forget where he said that the plush was from. Also, yeah, her ears are adjustable. It's great. Um... I forget where he said he got that, so, uh, I'm not sure. So, oh, one of my friends, he just went to Japan. Like, he's a sushi chef, and he just went to Japan, and I'm so excited for him. It's, like, his big dream. He got me some stuff for my birthday. So excited. Okay. So... First things first, what's hilarious about the Kuromi stuff that my my friend Sean got for me is um, he knows I like Hello Kitty-ish things. Um, he didn't know what her name was, but he picked like the perfect one because that was my favorite. Um, and then my friend Ian, while he was in Japan, grabbed me this. And he didn't know that I liked Chromie. He just thought it was like, he's like, oh, I know you like kawaii things. 
and I saw this bag and was like, oh, like you could put your cards in it or something. So I was like, oh, thanks. Um, so straight out of Japan, got like the, yeah, I know, it's silly, but it's, it's fine. Um, the second thing he got me was, so I'm trying to learn some Japanese um, and I want to learn to read and write as I learn to speak Japanese. That way I can be more fluent. And he got me a children's book in hiragana. Um, and it is so beautiful. Like, guys, the pages in this are so beautiful. Hold on, I want to find my favorite one. That's one of them. I have no idea what it says. Um, one of my friends, she's from Tokyo, and uh, she said she'd read it to me. <laughs> Look, this is my favorite one. It's got the little snails and little stars and little rainbow and sunset and blue clouds. It's so cute. I just noticed it kind of smelled weird. I know I just smelled that in here. Anyway, but he went to Korea and Japan. I was so excited for him. He also got me, he went to Giza which is like a luxury district, I think is what he said, and got me this. He got me skincare in, from Japan, y'all. Like, can we talk about this for a second? So this is the moisturizer. It's like a day cream, is it too? It's like a day cream moisturizer kind of thing. It says essential energy hydrating day cream, uh, SPF 20. And you know, your girl loves her SPF. Uh, but yeah, and then it came with I think he said it was like, I forget how much yen it was, but he said it was like s over a hundred American dollars, but it came with like little, like all these samples in the same skincare line and I cannot wait to try them. I have used a little bit of the day cream and it makes my skin feel so freaking soft. I am, I love it and I'm keeping this back because like. It's such a cool bag. And I'm not usually like a person to keep a bag, but it's from Japan. And that's somewhere I wanna go one day. Um, also it came with like this cool, like wet bag kind of thing. Please forgive my hair, y'all, it's frizzy. I'm trying to keep it in a ponytail. But like, it's like a wet bag uh, for all your stuff. Like I'm guessing a travel bag. Not really sure. I still have to look this up online. I haven't yet, um, cause I've been working a lot. But I'm gonna look it up online and like figure out if this brand, if this is like a brand that is also in America or, cause I, I don't know anything about it. I just know that I needed moisturizer and he pulled up with it and he didn't know that. And I thought it was pretty great. Um, is there something in this? Oh, it's just paper. Okay. That's it. No, he did not go to the Sanrio store in case you're wondering if there he got this. He got this at a different store. I asked him if he went to the Sanrio store and he said no. Um, he said he couldn't find it or something like that. So it's fine. Well, uh, when I go to Japan, I'm going to the, uh, I'm going to the Sanrio store. When am I going to Japan? If everything goes right, maybe in the next year or so. Uh, but you know, we'll see. Okay. So next thing. So Sean actually got me this keychain also with all the chromey stuff, but I put it on this bag. I got myself this bag from Hot Topic, guys. Look, she's it's got the little twin stars. It's got cinnamon roll, Hello Kitty, and then when you open the door, I can open it. It's got my melody. Isn't that cute? Like, you can open the door. And then on the back, it's got a uh, pom pom pardon. And, uh, and I put chromey on it because she my girl. And it kind of, it kind of, kind of goes back. It's got Kiki and Lala, but yeah, it's super cute mushroom vibe, which honestly, I'm not usually into like white bags and I don't get like super in, I don't, I say I'm, I don't get super into the mushroom vibe, but that's not entirely true. Anyway, moving on. Um, and also I bought myself an OG Game Boy Color and it's in the atomic purple. I got it, I needed a game to make sure it worked, uh, which I was pretty sure because I bought it from like a lo local like game shop. Um, but so I got like the Sabrina one from like, do you guys remember this? Sa the Adventures of Sabrina, like the animated series. It's actually kind of fun. Uh, it's, it's a good like, not think about things kind of 
kind of game. Like you just kind of like do 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 do. Um, but yeah, got I. So I've wanted one of these since forever. Like since they came out, I wanted this color specifically. It's called Atomic Purple. In case you are trying to look it up and find it, also it is the most desired desired color apparently. And so people jack up the prices. I'm sorry, I'm shining that in your eyes. But people jack up the prices like ridiculously. And this was the cheapest I could find it. And I found it for $80. What is happening, you guys? I, what is happening? Like, I know, I know it's like this, but what the f <laughs> Um, and then, oh. I also got one more thing. I don't think I have it right here. Okay, pause. Okay. We're back. Um, this is cool. This was worth pausing for. So I collect tea sets and like, I just collect like a lot of different things. But one of the things that I like to collect and my grandma kind of got me started on it because she gave me a tea set from like when she was little and she played with it like it was her toy tea set and I played with it and it was like my toy tea set and then she gave it to me before she passed away and I love that tea set you guys it is a it was made in Japan and it was like a colonial style like I think French colonial style tea set is what she said it was so I like tea sets and I use them. I don't, they don't sit on a shelf and not be used. The grandma's tea set is a little bit more, um, like I'm more cautious about that one because it's an, it's an, it's a family heirloom at this point. Um, so I'm more, a lot more cautious about that one, but I have like an Alice in Wonderland teacup and saucer set. And like, I just like, I drink a lot of tea. So we found this isn't the pot. Okay, hold on. Let me find the pot. Really quickly. So I got a teapot and two teacups and some saucers. And, okay, this is the pot. I want to show you guys this first because it's... Did she tape that one? Okay. Okay, so I can't pull this one out because it's been taped. Uh... The, the cups have not been taped, so I can take this. Okay, so this is the teapot. It's got the evil eye on it. And I got a, I kind of did a mismatch thing. Um, I just felt like I needed to. So this is the saucer for the blue cup. It, it's a saucer. It's got like gold trim. So it's shiny and sparkly and so freaking pretty. And then this is the teacup. And this was also a birthday present from my friend Sean. Um, and then this is the white one. And I freaking love this thing. Like I already know where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it on display and like I have like a little kind of apothecary cabinet because I like to practice like at home herbalism as like a hobby, not a doctor, no medical professional. It's just something I like to do in my spare time. I like to learn about plants and how they help heal you and stuff like that. Um, but this is the saucer to the white one. And then this is the white cup. And guys, they are so beautiful and so light and just, I love them. These not the best. Okay. Yeah. So that's basically it. Like I said, I'm not bragging. I'm just really excited to like have people in my life that think of me and want to get me things that they think I would enjoy and love and I very much often when I can buy things that remind me of people that I love and care about 
And if you're looking for gift ideas for somebody that you love and care about, I hope you see this video and I hope you it helped you out in some way, form or fashion. Um, but I'm really excited about these and like I, it's funny that it happened when I was decluttering, get space for it and I kind of feel like I'm refreshing. Like I feel like just a lot of things that have been going on in the past two years, I've not really been me and I feel like I'm getting back to me and it makes me feel really good. And I'm just excited that like people are supporting me in that because they find these things and they're like, this is so, this is so Mika. This is so Mika. And I'm like, thanks guys. Um, but yeah, I've already made this video like 20 minutes long. Um, so I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If it's your birthday month, I hope you have a happy birthday. If you see this during your birthday month, I hope you have a happy birthday and well wishes to you and everything good in your life. Mwah! Please subscribe, comment, and like the video. Thank you and adieu.